Dwayne Michael Carter Jr., born September 27, 1982, known professionally as Lil Wayne, is an American rapper, singer, songwriter, and record executive. He is regarded by many contemporaries as one of the most influential hip-hop artists of his generation, and often cited as one of the greatest rappers of all time. His career began in 1995, at the age of 12, when he was signed by rapper Birdman, joining Cash Money Records as the youngest member of the label. From then on, Wayne was the flagship artist of Cash Money Records before ending his association with the company in June 2018. In 1995, Wayne was put in a duo with label mate BG, at the time known as Lil Doogie, and they recorded an album, True Story, released that year, although Wayne, at the time known as Baby D, only appeared on three tracks Wayne and BG soon joined the southern hip-hop group Hot Boys, with Cash Money label mates Juvenile and Turk in 1997, they released their debut album Get It How You Live, in October that year. The Hot Boys became popular following the release of the album Guerrilla Warfare, 1999, and the song Bling Bling. Lil Wayne's solo debut album THA Block Is Hot, 1999, was his solo breakthrough, and he reached higher popularity with his fourth album THA Carter, 2004, and fifth album THA Carter II, 2005, as well as several mixtapes and collaborations throughout 2006 and 2007. He gained more prominence within the music industry with his sixth album THA Carter III, 2008, with first week sales of over 1 million copies in the US. The album won the Grammy Award for Best Rap Album and included successful singles A Millie, Got Money, featuring T-Pain, and Lollipop, featuring Static Major, the latter being his first single to reach number one on the Billboard Hot 100. In February 2010, Wayne released his seventh studio album, Rebirth, which experimented with rap rock and was met with generally negative reviews. A month later in March 2010, Lil Wayne began serving an eight-month jail sentence in New York after being convicted of criminal possession of a weapon stemming from an incident in July 2007. His eighth studio album I Am Not a Human Being, 2010, was released during his incarceration, while his 2011 album THA Carter IV was released following his release. THA Carter IV sold 964,000 copies in its first week in the United States. His 12th studio album THA Carter V was released in 2018 after multiple delays. Wayne's 13th album, Funeral, was released in early 2020. Lil Wayne has sold over 120 million records worldwide, including more than 20 million albums and 70 million digital tracks in the United States, making him one of the world's best-selling music artists. He has won 5 Grammy Awards, 11 Bet Awards, 4 Billboard Music Awards, 2 MTV Video Music Awards and 8 NAACP Image Awards. On September 27, 2012, he became the first male artist to surpass Elvis Presley with the most entries on the Billboard Hot 100, with 109 songs. Lil Wayne also currently serves as the chief executive officer, CEO, of his own label, Young Money Entertainment. Dwayne Michael Carter Jr. was born on September 27, 1982, and spent his first few years in the impoverished Holly Grove neighborhood of New Orleans, Louisiana. His mother, a cook, gave birth to him when she was 19 years old. His parents divorced when he was two and his father permanently abandoned the family. When CBS interviewer Katie Couric asked why he used the name Wayne instead of his given name, Carter explained that I dropped the D because I'm a junior and my father is living. And he's not in my life and he's never been in my life. So I don't want to be Dwayne, I'd rather be Wayne. Asked if his father knew of this, Carter replied, he knows now. Carter has said that he considers his deceased stepfather Reginald Rabbit McDonald to be his real father. Carter has a tattoo dedicated to McDonald. Carter was enrolled in the gifted program at Lafayette Elementary School. He later attended Eleanor McMain Secondary School for two years, where he was an honor student and a member of the drama club, playing the Tin Man in the school's production of The Wiz. After matriculating to Marion Abramson Senior High School, Carter dropped out at age 14 to focus on his musical career. Carter wrote his first rap song at age 8. In the summer of 1991, he met rapper and Cash. Money Records co-founder Brian Baby Williams, known currently as Birdman, 
who mentored him and encouraged his love of hip-hop, Birdman included Carter on several Cash Money tracks, and Carter would often record freestyle raps on Williams' answering machine. In 1994, at age 12, Carter suffered a near-fatal self-inflicted gunshot wound to the chest. At the time he said the injury was accidental. Decades later Carter claimed that it was an attempted suicide after he was told by his mother that he would have to end his rap-related associations. Carter credits off-duty police officer Robert Hubler, who he calls Uncle Bob, with saving his life by insisting the dying child be driven immediately to hospital in a police car rather than waiting for an ambulance to become available. Other accounts indicate that several officers played a part in deciding on and implementing that course of action. Lil Wayne has an estimated net worth of $150 million, making him one of the richest rappers in the world. In an interview with Blender, Carter revealed one of his favorite bands from childhood to be rock group Nirvana, and cites them as a major influence in his music. Carter got his first tattoo at age 14 of his dad's name and his second was cash money across his stomach. His tattoos have grown to include a Daisy verse on his leg, I am music on his forehead and teardrops on his cheeks among many others. His most recent one is baked on his forehead stylized as the Baker Skateboards logo. While playing in Newark Symphony Hall, Carter professed his belief in God and his son, Jesus. During his 2011 tour in Australia with Eminem, before beginning his bracket he proclaimed his belief in God. One Christian minister says Carter stated religiosity and the unreligious lyrical content of his music are incongruous. After earning his GED, Carter enrolled at the University of Houston in January 2005. He dropped out in the same year due to his conflicting schedule. He also revealed on The View that he switched to the University of Phoenix and majored in psychology taking online courses. An article in Urbanization magazine in March 2007 asserted that Carter had been earning high grades at Houston. On September 24, 2008, Carter published his first blog for ESPN in their issue, ESPN the magazine. Carter revealed he was a fan of tennis, the Green Bay Packers, the Boston. Bruins, the Los Angeles Lakers and the Boston Red Sox. To commemorate the Packers making it to Super Bowl 45, he spoofed with Felipe's hit song Black and Yellow, which were the colors of the Packers' opponents, the Pittsburgh Steelers, in a song titled Green and Yellow. He released a second version of the song in 2021, which was requested by the Packers, and updated with the current roster. Carter has continued writing for ESPN, notably reporting at the ESPN Super Bowl party. Carter made his debut on ESPN's Daily Sports Roundtable show Around the Horn on February 10, 2009. Carter now currently sings the intro song No Mercy for the Fox Sports 1 Sports Debate Show Undisputed. Carter received criticism after a video released by TMZ showed him apparently stepping on the US flag. Carter later explained that it was never my intention to desecrate the flag of the United States, and that he was shooting a video for a song on his upcoming album, God Bless America. He says the purpose of the flag was to show that behind the American flag was the hoods of America. In late 2016, Carter made statements critical of the Black Lives Matter movement, saying, I don't feel connected to a damn thing that ain't got nothing to do with me. If you do, you crazy as shit adding that his status as a wealthy black man who has white fans is evidence that black people are valued in the United States. In 2016, Carter purchased Players Representative Sports Agency, and became Young Money Apa Sports, which hired NFL's first female sports agent, Nicole Lynn. She currently represents Seth Roberts, Corey Nelson, Jordan Evans, Malik Jefferson, Eric Harris, Quinnen Williams, as well as NCAA coaches, and two former number one pro softball draft picks. On October 29, 2020, less than a week before the presidential election, Carter posted an image of him and President Donald Trump to Twitter. In the caption for the photo, Carter revealed that he and Trump had recently met to discuss criminal justice reform and Trump's Platinum Plan, an initiative which aims to raise access to capital in black communities by almost $500 billion. Carter claimed Trump listened to what we had to say today and assured he will and can get it done. On July 24, 2008, Avgo Music Inc. filed a lawsuit against Carter for copyright infringement and unfair competition, specifically referring to THA Carter III's track Playing With Fire. 
In the lawsuit, Avco says that the song was obviously derived from the Rolling Stones' Play With Fire, to which Avco owns the rights. Subsequently, Playing With Fire was removed from the track list of THA Carter 3 on all online music stores and replaced with the David Banner produced track, Pussy Monster. In February 2009, production company RMF Productions filed a $1.3 million lawsuit against Carter following a $100,000 advance payment for three shows, all of which were cancelled by the artist. In October 2009, Carter, Birdman, Cash Money Records, and various music distribution outlets were sued for copyright infringement by Thomas Maras Chulo, who says his voice was used without permission. The rappers asked him to record some Italian-styled spoken word recordings in 2006. The lyrics were allegedly used on Respect and other tracks from the rapper's collaboration album like Father, Like Son, and Birdman's Five Asterisk Stunna. In March 2011, producer Diesel, Darius Harrison, sued Carter and his parent labels Cash Money Records over unpaid royalties from THA Carter III. In May 2011, producer Bangladesh also filed a lawsuit against Wheezy & Co over unpaid royalties as well. In early June 2011, another producer named David Kirkwood filed a lawsuit against Young Money Entertainment and Cash Money Records on claims that the labels have failed to pay him over $1.5 million in royalties and production services for his work on the album, also including his songwriter on Love Me or Hate Me, a bonus song featured only on the deluxe edition of the album. Also in June 2011, Dallas Producers Play & Skills filed a lawsuit against him saying Carter owes them at least $1 million in unpaid royalties for got money from his album THA Carter 3. The single has sold over 2 million copies since being released. In July 2011, Dundee Enterprises, a production company based in Georgia, filed suit against Carter, Universal Music Group, Cash Money Records and Young Money Entertainment, claiming copyright infringement. The lawsuit alleges Carter stole the song Bedrock, featured on the compilation album We Are Young Money, and seeks damages of $15 million. In November 2012, Wayne was ordered to pay Quincy Jones $32.2 million based on a lawsuit which stated that the rapper blocked the release of Jones' film, The Carter, therefore infringing on its profits. Young Buck released a song called Off Parole, featuring Tony Yeo, which insulted Carter. Young Buck said that Carter could not be angry, because Young Buck spoke the truth. Young Buck also said you think you got a problem with Juve and BG, you'll have a true problem with me, referring to the Cash Money Juvenile slash B.G feud. One of the reasons 50 Cent stated he was dismissing Young Buck was what he called inconsistent behavior which included appearing on stage with Carter, then seemingly dissing him on records with G-Unit. Tell me your favorite